What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the Budget Reefer. And I'll say this, tank is kicking butt, taking names, looking great. I've reached 500 subscribers and it's pretty awesome. But I don't really care. It's not about how many subscribers, it's about the information. You know what I mean? And I'm all about trying to help everybody that I can. Just do these videos because it just makes it easier. So uh, one of the topics I wanted to go about today is dealing with not uh, typically considered reef safe fish. So I recommend Googling the fish that you're about to put in your tank and also see what other people's experiences are. Because here I have a Niger trigger and uh, he is just an awesome specimen. He's really cool, hasn't nipped at anything that I can tell. They do supposedly go after feather dusters and can turn a uh, rabbit on you, I guess, later on in adult life. But so far, he's a good fish. I keep him fed and he hasn't done anything that I would consider uh, being uh, not reef safe for. But I think you have to go by a fish by fish basis. So, yes, I just want to let you know and check out this clam. It's growing really good. I got me a flame tail blenny, and he actually gets along with this sorry blenny. They don't really clash too much. The only one that's a real douche is uh, my Tomney Tang, who I named Timmy, because he is extra special. He's hiding out somewhere right now, but yeah. Uh, another fish I'm going to recommend to y'all is an engineer goby. These guys are pretty awesome, but once they get real big, they can uh, knock over rock and stuff like that. But, uh, he's not too bad right now. There's that tang I was talking about. And if I could do it again, I would not put this Tomney tang in there. Uh, I would go with a, I think it's a Hawaiian golden eye tang and it's also meant for like a 90 gallon uh sized reef and when you're getting fish something to always take into consideration is where that fish is going to be in the water column if you don't know that now you do uh just because like there's different particular kind of wrasses too like yes uh this guy will go around through the rock but he really likes skimming at the surface up here with these chromis and it's just really good when you're um, trying not to overcrowd uh, a certain quadrant of the tank, if that makes any sense. So like, you don't wanna have too many sand sifters, you just want at least a few. And something that I've noticed, this is random, uh, that the tank really responds well to, um, really paying attention to like the salinity of the water. So I know that these leather corals love to shrink up and act all upset uh, when my pH is off. So one of the things that I do is I can, I can see these guys getting a little upset. I know my pH is a little off and I have to adjust my ATO. So those are just some things for you to uh, just some experience that I've had whenever they're looking a little shrunken and small, it's more than likely due to your pH or some water parameter kind of throwing it off. And the best way to mitigate that is water changes. Um, you just gotta think of like you're diluting your problem because of the water chemistry that's happening. So the more water you can take out and add in, the more you're diluting your problem and can help remove it from the tank so um yep i just figured i would give you all a little heads up to how i'm doing uh how the tank is doing i don't want to leave you hanging i've got some new lights i'm thinking about purchasing and i think i'm going to step away from the hippogaro leds uh to try out another brand just to uh give them a shot the, it, it's like the little black boxes that they have on amazon but there's like multiple different brands, so it's still a Chinese light, which isn't a problem. I just wanna 
you don't know what you're getting like with uh like with the Nikru LED that's the one that um I believe was a great light but it just didn't last long enough with me doesn't mean every light's gonna be like that but it didn't last long enough with me to uh, really want to get another one but the thing that sucked is I got this is my newest Hippogaro on my right side and it works awesome but like I said before the timer in it has stopped working and so I'm thinking about getting two lights that just work on the same timer because I'm pretty hands off with this tank. This tank uh, gets water changes when I deem it necessary. Uh, the more frequent is obviously the better, the healthier the tank does. But uh, just between my life, uh, my work life and uh, raising children, it, there is a lot going on. But I gotta say, for not having to touch this tank too often, it does relatively well. And, uh, you know, it's a, it's a little piece of your own ocean right in your living room. And I love it for my kids. They really enjoy it. Kid. Kids is coming. So I have another one on the way. Anyway, be easy, y'all. And have a wonderful day.